All right, here's a quick tutorial on um, using the Jewelry Set Designer. You're going to first notice that there are three tabs, uh, Pendants, Inserts, and Necklaces tab. And when I click on them, you'll notice a green uh, button that shows up under each one. That's what you want to focus on uh, clicking on in order to add that product to this area here, which is your Jewelry Set area. So let's go ahead and add some pendants. Let's click on the green button, add some pendants. And um, you've got the option of choosing one inch pendants or half inch pendants. I'm gonna go with uh, one inch just for this tutorial. Uh, but you can select whichever you want. Add a few, uh, select a few of these just by clicking them and then scrolling down and adding uh, them to the jewelry set by clicking this green uh, button at the very bottom. You can scroll further, there's, there's quite a few different options, but I've just selected a few, and I'm going to select the green button, add them to this set area for pendants. Remember, this is just the pendant set area. Then I'm going to go over to the inserts area, because we're going to need some inserts for these pendants uh, to mix and match with. So let's go through uh, and click the add inserts to this set button. We're going to go through and click and select. Uh, we're going to have to go through one inch inserts now. We don't want half inch because this is a one inch pendant I have. So I'm going to choose uh, from one inch inserts and select a few. Let's go with um, no, random selections here. Just a few different options. and then go grab some necklaces. So let's click the necklaces tab and same thing, green button. Um, you can choose all necklaces, you can choose a uh, certain category. Let's just go through stainless steel. Select a few stainless steel. And now you can see how we can change the uh, options for necklaces. So we've got inserts, necklaces, and pendants all located underneath their tabs and from here you can you can go through and switch out the pendants easily then you can go to the inserts switch out the inserts easily and then you can go over to necklaces and swap them out as well so you, so you can find what works what what look you want before you purchase the product and once you found something you like, you can add it to your cart right here. You can uh, save it. Um, we can save this as a, uh, let's call it the um, Blossom. And you can open up previously saved uh, designs that you've had, uh, different sets you've designed, or you can create a new one right here. So you've got all these options. And once you have these areas loaded, you can actually share them all through social media as well. Uh, share your design via Facebook, but you can also um, save. What, what, what ends up happening is that all these, these products save uh, with this design. So when you share this, you're actually sharing all of the components uh, the necklaces, the inserts, and the pendants with the design that you've selected. So people can receive this, click on it, and they'll open up this page, which they can click through the same options you've chosen, or they can add some more to them. But it gives them a starting point. Um, and uh, if you want to come back and design, uh, play around with these things, uh, save this one, for example, and come back later, you can always go to your My Designs area up here, scroll down to My Jewelry Sets, open it up, and it shows you any any previous designs you've uh, you've had in the in the design area. So you've got your you can, you've got your options below there as well. You can delete delete a design. You can uh, come in here and rename it something else. Add it to your cart directly from your management area. But you can save an unlimited number of different uh, jewelry set designs here. And then the diamond, of course, takes you back to edit your set. So hopefully you found this helpful. Uh, just a quick tutorial on all the basics here. Play around with it. Have fun. And um, 
We look forward to seeing your creations.